we're so glad to see self-regulatory approaches being pursued. Really, everywhere there's consumers and brands trying to engage with each other. Wherever that happens, consumer trust is is a most important ingredient of all. If we don't have that trust, we don't have uh, the opportunity to engage with consumers. So as we look at privacy and we look at self-regulation and we look at responsible data collection, we know there's a need to be transparent with the consumer, to explain to the consumer in easy to understand, easy to access ways uh, what their choices are with respect to that data collection and with respect to receiving ad advertisements that are based on that data collection. Self regulation has provided a blueprint, a privacy rules of the road for companies um, apart from regulation. Yes, we can have a regulated marketplace, but it's always best when we start with self-regulation, we start with ethical codes of conduct, and we start with best practices. One of the things that uh, the DAA principles and our EDAA counterparts in Europe and elsewhere around the globe in Canada and Latin America they start with principles for transparency, for consumer control, uh, and other important areas where legislation can be a backstop or legislation can amplify, but it starts with that understanding between the brand and the consumer about uh, rules of conduct for, for data use. Having those in place um, and Having independent enforcement of those guidelines is exactly what things, at least in the United States, policymakers look for in understanding that businesses are doing the right thing. They're taking these responsibilities seriously and they're executing on them in a credible fashion through independent enforcement. That message really resonates in the D Digital Advertising Alliance program and the principles frameworks which are now in place in 36 countries. One of the things about the internet that is unique uh, compared to other media is it doesn't stop at the border, it keeps going. So when we look at digital advertising, obviously there's digital advertising for specific markets, that's true. But when we look at global data and how the internet works and functions, data flows are uh, cross borders. So it's important where we can achieve consistency. Uh, it's important to make that happen in the execution of responsible data uh, controls. That being said, each culture is very unique. Americans have a different perspective on privacy than Europeans, than Latin Americans, than Asians, than Canadians, and our brethren in North America. So it's important that each of those markets are, um, the culture of those markets are reflected in their specific uh, legislations and some, to some extent even in their ethics and self-regulatory codes. However, there are some universal principles for privacy that are recognized across jurisdictions and it's important that as we, we look to those universal uh, principles as we apply uh, data controls in our own respective markets.